Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ANTH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward, which we'll get to in just a second here, but not to rub salt in one's wounds or anything like that, but yeah. Big gap down, um, and then the price did start to show some signs of life, uh, which is you know which brings up the question. Now I realize this is kind of hard to see, so what I'm going to do is just bring the chart over like this, so we can get that out of the way, and you'll see here. There we go. Now we get a little bit better perspective. So that's why I have all the white space over here, because if you know I let the the gap down show up, it's just not going to you know be very friendly. Now going back to this question, the very logical question uh, revolves around the fact that you know from where it was here to where it ended up closing all the way up here, very solid move. I mean, I think we'd all agree that this was a good move, but that does bring up the question, well, is there any sort of true power behind this move? Is this bounce really a bounce, or is there some sort of dead cat bounce, or in other words, a fake bounce? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level, and that level is down here at 71 cents. Why is 71 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, you know, bounces that are truly bounces, well, they're going to continue to bounce, right? The price is going to continue to make progress going forward. The price is not going to go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, a price movement that's truly strong is not going to go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 71 cents. Any sort of closes below 71 cents or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it already was before the big move happened. Whereas if the price comes down here, pulls one of these numbers and then heads back up, what would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have a set of lows down there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, you still got stair steps going in the upward direction. And that's the name of the game. That's what you wanna see. Bullish moves make progress forward. So to me, 71 cents is a very revealing level. Uh, as far as resistance levels, in, in my opinion right now, Breaking levels of resistance, not even close to the top of the priority list. Top of the priority list is now starting to show some progress. And again, as hopefully I've explained clear enough, building progress is all about putting in those higher lows. So we'll see if the bulls can stay up above 71 cents or not going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, and by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.